So I learned that uh, when choosing a hostel, especially in summer, make sure that you go to the filters and you specify that you want one with an air conditioner. Now that's probably going to eliminate a lot of options, but uh, if you're able to find one with an air conditioner, I highly suggest you get that one. What is up everybody coming at you from slovenia's second largest city maribor slovenia hopefully i pronounced that right but i've been here for two days it was a short little trip outside of ljubljana wanted to experience a little bit more of slovenia and it's a beautiful place and i'm going to share with you some of the footage so i hope you enjoy it if you like the video please hit that subscribe button thumbs up button all that beautiful stuff future Roger coming at you and I just wanted to uh, inform you that that area of the hostel the main common area with the pool table had AC really great AC but the dorm rooms themselves did not so it made it quite difficult to go to sleep especially with four other people sleeping in that same room and that's the only thing about visiting these smaller less touristy spots like Maribor, Slovenia. There was only a handful of hostels available during my visit and this one had the highest rating, but um, it did not have AC in the dorm rooms. It was one of those things that I just had to, you know, go with. But if you are visiting a city with multiple hostels, always make sure that they have AC in them. Now, few hostels are a little bit shady and they say they have uh, air conditioner but it's this type of setup where it's in the common area they have AC but once you get to a dorm room it's there is no AC they they don't specify sometimes and that's how they kind of get away with fooling the filters section by saying yeah they have AC but they don't specify where in the hostel they have it so in that regard you always want to make sure that you're looking at the user reviews and believe me if they don't have AC in the dorm rooms, you will be able to notice and read multiple reviews in which they state that. So uh, yeah, traveler tip, uh, make sure you read those reviews, make sure you use the filter section on the Hostel World app, and uh, always, always try to book a room with AC if visiting in the summer, trust me. Now, when it comes to long-term travel, I'm a big believer in that it's more than just being a tourist, all that is, is fun and whatnot, but if you've made that decision to just travel for a prolonged period of your life, then you are presented with a very great prime opportunity to learn something new, to develop or create something like a business, or just get into the best shape that you've ever been. With that said, however, it is so easy to go overboard, to, to burn yourself out. And this is speaking from experience. Back in Ljubljana, where I have my hub and all my gear, I find myself constantly working on one project to the next project to the next project, where it kind of just becomes about the work. But one thing that I've learned from taking this little trip, and this is what the whole video is about, is when you settle on a, on a hub city and you kind of decide to take little two or three day trips to smaller places, such as what I'm doing here in Slovenia, um, with less gear back home, you kind of detach yourself from that workload a bit. And in doing so, you're just allowed to, to 
to revert to being a traveler. Now I know I'm, I'm still kind of working in regards to making this video, but again, the, the workload is nowhere near where it is back there in, in Ljubljana, where I have my laptop, my tablet and all that stuff. And one of the things that I've been able to accomplish is just to read. I know it's such a simple thing, but it's something that I absolutely love but I haven't really been able to, to read because I would work so much. And once I was done, I was on that Netflix and chill mode. I didn't want to look at any words or computer screens or nothing at all. And that Netflix and chill mode is something that I always aspire to avoid as much as possible. And so this little three day trip is extremely refreshing. Look at the size of this fucking dog right here. This dude is massive. It's a fucking wolf, yo. Holy shit. Yo, that is seriously got to go down as the biggest dog that I have ever seen. Holy shit. So as I was saying before I got super distracted by that humongous dog, is if you travel long term, then I highly suggest to A, yeah, you build goals, you try to create something new, develop yourself in whatever way you feel like you need to, but at the same time, be careful on letting it consume you and if you start feeling that it's getting to that point then the little three day side trips are pretty awesome to kind of bring back some type of balance between working and traveling and just traveling and just being a traveler and enjoying that whole aspect of it. 